Coming up on Pick a Puppy. The Sweeney family are looking for a special puppy to be the newest addition to their family. But can their children handle the responsibility of two young puppies? I'm Beverly Mahood. Now today on Pick a Puppy, we're meeting with the Sweeney family. Now the Sweeneys are considering three great breeds today. The Labrador Retriever, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and the Border Collie. Now let's see which puppy they choose. So the Sweeney family, this is great to meet you guys. It's great to meet you too, Bev. This is Aiden, my name is Carla, this is Allie and my husband, Sean. We have a puppy already called Crosby. He's a golden retriever and we got him on Christmas day. And we're just very excited to add another puppy to the family so that each kid can have a puppy. Well, we chose Crosby because golden retrievers are really good with family. I love this puppy because He's so energetic and cuddly and he's all soft. And it would just be nice to have another dog. And how did you guys kind of start bringing it on to mom and dad? Or did you just come right out and ask? Well, we made a deal with our parents that if we kept our rooms clean for three months, we'd be able to get a puppy. And was it easy? Or we were always thinking about it, but it was kind of easy. Once you get it clean from the beginning, all you do is just don't mess it up. And <laughs> <laughs> so when you get a puppy, what are some of the things you know that now when you have a puppy you have to do? Um, well, you have to take a puppy to or, uh, for a walk two or three times a day. Well, we've got to play with the puppies a lot or else they'll become lazy and they'll start chewing. What have you loved about having a puppy so far? Well, all puppies are really cute. That's what I love about puppies. So what sort of dog are you looking for? Uh, health issues are important to us. We want the dog to be around with us for a long time. Well, we're obviously looking for a dog that's going to be good with other dogs and good with families. So what dogs are we looking at? We were looking for another medium, medium large breed. I really am excited to see the King Charles Spaniel. Uh, I think they're really different looking with the big floppy ears and the big eyes. My favorite dog is the Labs because they're just all so cute and they just love to give kisses. I really like the Border Collie. They're a smart breed. Uh, I like the fact that they do a bit of the herding uh, thing. That sounds like that might be a bit of fun out in the yard. Are you excited about this? Yeah. 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 And do you think you'll know your dog when you see it? Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Is it okay if I get to see what you guys have planned for this new puppy? Or where they're going to eat and sleep? And then maybe I want to check out your room. Hmm. You okay with that? Yeah. Really? <laughs> You're not sure, are you? Okay, I'll be the judge of that. Let's go check it out. Come on. Welcome to my room. Pretty clean. I'm impressed. Does Crosby, since he's laying on your bed, having a little sleep here, he sort of seemed to be more of your dog? Oh yeah, kind of. As you see, his name is Crosby, and my favorite hockey player is Crosby. The new dog we're going to go get is kind of for my sister, Allie. Hey, Beb, let's go to my room and see where the new puppy's going to sleep. OK. Woo! OK. You can definitely tell that this is the girl's room. Yeah. Love it. So now let's talk about this new dog. So it's kind of going to be your dog, right? Because right. I noticed that Crosby was kind of in the room with your brother. But you know, I kind of noticed this thing over here. What, what is this over here? That's the dog's bed. Do you think that the puppy might end up up here somewhere? Yeah. It's possible, right? Yeah. So we got the new puppy's bed all sorted out. Let's find out where they're going to eat. Should okay. we go? Okay, let's go. So kitchen usually means dinner time. Yes, yeah. Right? Well, this is where we're going to uh, feed the puppies. We're going to stagger the feedings so that uh, we don't uh, have them trying to get each other's food or that. That's a good yeah. idea. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. Who's going to feed these puppies? We all are. We're going to take turns. Are you guys really ready to get your puppy? We're ready. Yeah? Ready. Can't wait. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go. go. Now first up, the Sweeney family will be visiting Becky of All Sport Registered to check out two Labrador Retriever puppies. Now Labs are the most popular breed registered in Canada. Now typically these guys are athletic, super loyal and great with children. Hi, I'm Becky Alton. I'm holding in my arms right now a 10 week old yellow male. His name is Tonka. Hey Tonka. And he's really, really hyper. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, Becky. 
Thanks for loving my puppy. Hi, Portia. She's a retrieving maniac. Oh. Hey, my puppies are sold for hunting, too. Oh, okay. Yes. They love hiking. They love swimming. They just love to be with you. Their purpose in life is to have fun. Can you tell me a little bit about your family? We live uh, just outside of our town in the country on an acre, so there's lots of room for the dogs to run around. Who's going to walk the puppy? Well, probably um, both of us. Yeah, we'll like, we'll take turns. And do you crate train your dogs? So when you put the puppy in a crate, it often is whiny and crying, and I feel, I feel terrible when they're in there. Should we take them out? No, because in that situation, the puppy wins. First of all, the puppy shouldn't be in the crate if you're home. But when you go out, you are going to put puppy in the crate. You won't hear it because you are leaving, <laughs> which helps yeah. a lot. Are Labradors good with other dogs? They love anything that breathes, and if it's dead, they roll in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the best toy for a lab? All puppies chew, so you got to make sure you have kind of a little toy box full of chewable toys. And of course, they love balls for fetching. So, so can, can we see, see the puppies now? For sure, I'll go get them. <laughs> We're, We're so, so excited. excited! We got to meet Portia and play with Portia and that. She's a great dog. And not yeah. as big as we expected yeah. them to be, so yeah. that's good. Here they are! Oh, they are so cute! This is Helen, our girl, Portia's mini-me, and this is Tonka. They love each other, they play together all the time. Yeah, are you beautiful? I always tell my girls, you're so beautiful. So are there any differences between the um, black labs and the yellow labs besides the color? It's the same thing whether you have blue eyes or brown eyes, it's a gene. That's oh, all it so. is. Chocolate, black, or yellow, they're still Labrador retrievers. <laughs> Aren't you, Tonka? He runs the house now. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tonka. Mm -hmm. Do you like this? Girl, hey. Helen. Do you like the yeah, family? Sorry. Helen's a sweet girl, eh? Yeah. She's a real sweet girl, yeah. yes. With retrieving, they're yes. anything, pretty much? What we want to make sure is when we do do retrieving with them is we don't do it on slippery floors. We want to make sure that their hips aren't sliding out on them. I think Tonk is ready to play now. He's been contained most of the day. So why don't we all go down to the Dogwood Center. We have a beautiful arena down there. And run Montessori's Puppy School, for instance, out of there. So you can come here for all your obedience classes. Sounds good. Oh, Follow me. Yeah, go. Watch the pool. There, there we go. go. Oh. Are you okay there? Where are we going? Yeah. This He's next heavy, door? Eh? There we okay. go. Okay. Go no. get it. Go get throw it. it. There, there you go, we Helen. go. Here's a okay. fun toy. Good boy. Helen. There we go. Arr. Helen. Arr. Watch it, Daddy. Come here. Oh. My favorite part of today was playing with Tonka and Helen because they're just so energetic and they fetch and play with you tug of war and all that. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, good dog. Good dog. <laughs> there you go, good up. boy. You make up. My favorite part was was playing around with the dog and fetching with them and getting dog kisses. Yes, yes. We had a great time today seeing the Labradors, but we have two more breeds that we have to see. We just want to make sure we get the right dog for our family. What a great facility and what a lucky opportunity to meet and play with two puppies of two different ages. But stay tuned because we're just getting started. The Sweeney's still have to see the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and the Border Collie. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. Aww. I love the color of these puppies because they're all different colors. I like how there's little blotches of pink everywhere. Welcome back, everyone, to Pick a Puppy. Now, the Sweeney family are looking for the perfect little puppy to be a part of their family. First, they saw and played with two adorable labs. Were one of these pups a match for the Sweeneys? We won't know until they visit the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and the Border Collie. Now, up next, the Sweeney family will be visiting Larissa of Cedar Creek Kennel and her litter of Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Now, these dogs are popular family dogs. They're loving, extremely patient, and eager to please. My name is Larissa. 
I've been uh, breeding uh, Cavaliers for about five years now with my husband, Brad. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel uh, originated from Britain. King Charles actually had them in some early paintings, so they've recognized that as being his dog. Hi, Larissa. Hi. We're very excited to be here. Oh, thank you for coming. Can you tell us a little bit about the breed? This is Samson, and he's the father of the puppies that you guys are going to be seeing. This is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And these guys uh, originated from Britain, bred to be lap dogs. So in a lot of the old pictures, you see King Charles with him on his lap. I can't help but notice how calm and he's just sitting there. These dogs are great. They're really, really calm. But at the same time, if you know you're really excited, they'll be really excited with you. Or if I'm watching a movie, they're cuddled up to me type thing. They're absolutely meant to just be a family pet and sit on your lap and keep you company. They're very, very devoted dogs. How are they good with other dogs? These guys have been around Golden Retrievers and Rhodesian Ridgebacks, and we even have an English Mastiff outside that they play with, which they absolutely love. Is there any medical issues that we should be concerned about with these dogs? Well, every dog has some type of medical issue. I mean, these guys, it seems to be mostly their heart and their eyes. They have something what's called mitral valve disease or their eyes, they can have what's called dry eye. So what we do to make sure we're not getting any of that in our dogs is that we bring them to cardiologists and ophthalmologists and that way we have no genetic problems going through to the puppies. So what's the best kind of a toy for these breeds? These guys love bones. They will just chew them for hours and hours and hours. So when do we get to see the puppies? <laughs> I can go get them right now for you if you want. All right. <laughs> Larissa was a fantastic breeder. She knew so much about the King Charles Spaniel. It's good to know that these dogs have been checked out for their breed specific health issues. They come from good lines. <laughs> now if you guys could just kind of hold them toward your chest so they can't fall. How old are these puppies now? They're eight weeks old. Are they easy to house train? They're already paper trained, so if you lay out newspaper, they'll, they'll go on there. What kind of tricks do these guys do? Nothing yet, because they're so young, but they can be trained really easily if you put the work into it. These puppies are so cute. I would take them all and steal them and put them in my pocket and run home if I could. So what's the best way for us to introduce the puppies to our other dog? These guys are great because they're very, very submissive. If this dog were to be scared at all, they just kind of flop on their back and just kind of say like, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything. I love the color of these puppies because they're all different colors. I like how there's little blotches of different everywhere. How often do you walk them? Well, they need to go pee as soon as they wake up, and I find kind of after they wake up from a nap, they need to go pee again. So do they snuggle a lot? Oh, they love to snuggle. When I'm working at my desk, they come and snuggle on my feet and they don't leave until I get up. These guys are starting to look a little bit squirmy. Do you guys want to go over and play with them? Yeah. Yeah, okay, come on over here. I love these puppies. I love playing with them so much. I love giving them kisses. Hey. 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 The King Charles Spaniels have been such a surprise. If I could, I would probably take one home tonight. Well, we have one more to see. We still have to see the border collie. Hey, yeah. Hi, yeah. Look at him trying to crawl over me. <laughs> The family that came today was really, really great. They really, really connected well with our puppies, and we hope they pick them. So those were some cute little babies. Now the Sweeneys have a hard choice to make, but first they have to visit one more litter of puppies, and that's the border collies. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. I had five puppies. Did you really want to see them? Yeah. Yeah. See the puppies. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome back everyone to Pick a Puppy. Now so far in their search for a puppy, the Sweeney family have checked out the Labrador Retrievers and the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Now the children love playing with both of these litters, but it's not over yet. They still have to visit Lynn's gorgeous Border Collies. Now the Sweeney family's final visit is with Lynn at Oberon Kennel and her litter of Border Collies. Now Border Collies are often called the most intelligent of all dogs. They have a natural desire to herd, making them great working dogs and high energy family pets. We are Oberon Border Collies. This is Keto. Keto is the proud dad of our new litter of baby girls. No boys this time. We've been breeding Border Collies for over 10 years now. The best thing about it is seeing the puppies go home to the homes where we know they're going to be loved even more.
Lynn, thank you very much for having us here today. Our pleasure. This is Keto. Keto is the proud dad of our five little girls that we have. And they're really smart and they love to play. They love to play ball, they love to play frisbee. Can you tell us a little bit about their history? They originated in probably the 1500s and they were used as herding, herding sheep. The word border, it has been stated that it comes from them originating from the border of England and Scotland in the United Kingdom. How are they with other dogs? Very good, very sociable, as you can tell. <laughs> We like to call them our go dogs because they love to go with you, whether you're in the car, whether you're at home watching TV. So how easy are Border Collies to train? They're quite easy, actually. They're very, very smart. You can train them either by a whistle or even by a look or words as well, or even by a wave of the hand. House training, we had a puppy go home and she was trained in one day. So are there any uh, breed-specific health issues that we should be aware of? Or? At 18 months, they have their hips checked because hip dysplasia is another thing that's been linked over the years to the Border Collie. Those results have to be absolutely perfect, excellent for them to be bred. How many puppies do, do you have? They had five puppies. Did you really want to see them? Yeah. 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 See the puppies. Oh, Oh, Keto. Like oh, that. Keto. Keto is so smart and they're just so nice and they're very affectionate, sociable. I love the Border Collies, they're my favorite. Oh, look who we have. Oh, 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 would you like one? Yeah. Oh, okay then, look, we've just got enough for everybody. Hello. So are their personalities starting to show yet? Their eyes don't open until they're about two and a half weeks old. Oh, wow. Now, the little girl with the full collar, she opened her eyes first, but <laughs> the little girl that you have, she mm -hmm. wagged her tail first, oh, so she's a little happy. They're all very, very similar in personalities right now, but that obviously will come. But they all love to be cuddled, as you can tell. So how do we introduce these puppies to our dog? What we need to do is be very careful because your older dog might get a little bit jealous. So what you need to do is make sure you include your other dog as well. And then just little by little, let them play together. But make sure you're watching them. They'll get on really well together. I think that the border colors are so cute. I love playing with them. And a little bit noisy. I think they're getting hungry. I think they want to go and see mom. You want to give them a little kiss and say goodbye for now? Come along then. Come on. So we had a wonderful meeting with the new family. The kids absolutely adored the puppies and the puppies adored them. Hopefully they will choose uh, one of our baby border collies as their new pet. They're a really smart dog. We had a lot of fun. Now we're going to have a family meeting and we're going to weigh all the pros and cons for each of the breeds and we're going to decide on the dog that's right for us and for Crosby. How adorable are they? What a great family dog. It's going to be a very tough decision for the sweeties. We'll find out what puppy they picked and why after the break. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. Do I get to see this puppy? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Well, who's going to go get him? Kids are. Okay, sounds good. Welcome back to Pick a Puppy. Now the Sweeney family have been searching for the perfect puppy companion to complete their loving family. They've seen three wonderful breeders and their puppies. First the dependable Labrador Retriever, then the darling Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and finally the impressive Border Collie. So what puppy are they going to choose? Let's find out. So Sweeney family, did you miss me? We did. It's been a long time. It has been. So how did it go? It was really good. We had a lot of fun looking at the different breeds. Was it a good family bonding experience? We had a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. My favorite part was playing with the puppies because they were so fun and energetic, all of them. My favorite part was giving the puppy kisses. Now, as a family, what did you learn? We learned that it's, it's really hard to choose a dog. <laughs> really it is. And it's hard because you fall in love with every one of them. They're all very they cute. They were all very yeah. nice. So where did you guys start? We saw uh, the Labrador Retrievers first, a yellow lab, which was about eight weeks old, and a black lab, which was six months old. So what did you think of the labs? We love the labs. They're really good dogs. And then from the labs, where do we go? The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They were a big surprise for us. They are the ones with the big floppy ears and the 
big eyes. I thought they were so cute. They were all cuddly and giving you lots of kisses. Next, we went to see the Border Collies, and this made it really hard, because the Border Collies, they were so smart, intelligent, and lovable. How do you decide? It took us two days to make the decision, and what we did is we think of all three breeds and write down the pros and cons for all three breeds, and we finally, after a couple of days, made our decision, um, and we're pretty excited about it. Obviously, the history of the dog, the health of the dog, we want it to be around for a long time. We needed to make sure that it was gonna fit well with Crosby. And the tough part was that all three breeds had all of those qualities, so. But obviously, we decided. Finally yeah. decided. Yeah. To a decision. Do I get to see this puppy? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, who's going to go get him? Kids are. Okay, sounds good. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. Who is this? This is Helen. <laughs> Hi, oh. Helen. Hello to you. How are you doing? So how do we decide? This is obviously the lab. How do we decide on Helen? She already knows quite a few commands and is well trained, so we're hoping that she's going to teach Crosby as well. My favorite thing is that she can fetch. And Mom? I like that she's older and she is really good with Crosby. They've been really good so far. And she just gives lots of kisses and she's so cute. She is cute. So it looks like you got your dog. Yes, we got did. our dog. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this experience. It was great having you. But you know, I've been hearing Crosby kind of going off in the background. Do you think we should take them both for a walk? Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. good. good okay, let's go. Okay, let's Thanks, go. you guys. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Pick a Puppy. Special thanks to all our breeders and the Sweeney family for letting us come on this journey with them. Now when it's time for you to pick your new puppy, be sure to consider a rescue dog. We believe that all dogs deserve a good home. And until next time, I'm Beverly Miller. Hey Bev, it's the Sweeney family. Ellie's new name is Haley and she's fitting in perfectly. Crosby just loves her. Thank you, TMT, and take a puppy. Bye.